Today we're going to be drawing a character from one of my favourite films, The Nightmare Before Christmas, which evokes the atmosphere of Halloween. We're going to be drawing it in a mixture of soft pastels, which you will see lined up on the left, and pastel pencils on the right, and I will be using a putty rubber and my brown paper sketch pad. There are links for the products in the description below. The soft pastels are a selection of soft pastels that I have, I've collected over the years and I have tried to match them up to a box of soft pastels as closely as possible so that you can match your colours. So let's get into the tutorial. So now we're going to start sketching Sally's face and I'm going to use my Faber-Castell white soft pastel pencil for this so it's easy to see the initial outlines on the brown paper. I'm going to start by putting the guidelines on the face, drawing her really large eyes and her rounded face. Now obviously these are not normal facial proportions but you need to stick to the facial proportions of Sally's face because otherwise it won't look like her and obviously you've got a really large smile that's distinctive and obviously we'll add the stitches onto that later. She also has a really thin neck which again is a distinctive feature that Tim Burton does use in a lot of his characters and I'm going to start sketching on the dress and the shoulders now. Just the initial outlines, not too much detail because this is a sketch before we put, start putting the soft pastel onto the drawing. So now we need to add colour to our basic outline. I'm going to start by using a soft pastel pencil and this is a Derwent ivory black pencil. It's just to highlight the underside of Sally's neck and give it some definition, also to make the face stand out. It's easier to use a pencil than a pastel because it's got a thinner line. So I'm just going to highlight that area. So now it's time to add some colour with some chalk pastels. So I'm going to start with some grey on the left hand side of the neck to indicate some shadows. Because these pastels are quite soft, you do sometimes get a build up of dust. So it's sometimes useful to get a small paintbrush and lightly dust all of the excess away. So now I'm going to start building up my mid tone, which is this light turquoise blue. And I'm going to build that on top of the grey and blend them together. Finally I'm going to add a highlight by, with adding the white pastel and then when I've added that area I will start to blend the pastel in. I'm now going to add some texture to the neck with this dark blue chalk pastel. I'm now going to start adding areas of hair around the left hand side of the neck and face. So I'm starting by using the ivory black pastel pencil. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to get pastel all over the neck and it's easier if I have a thin line to define that area.
Now that I've finished adding the darker tones to the hair, I'm now going to start adding some tones around the eyes to give them that smoky effect. So I've started by adding this lighter pastel to give it some tones and I will start building them up. And I will now move on to blocking the dark tonal areas on the face. to blend in white pastel and to blend this in with the darker tones. Close look at the eyeballs you'll see on the left hand side I've added some dark tones with grey chalk pastel so now I'm going to add some white chalk pastel and blend those tones so that it will create a 3D effect highlights to the hair with white chalk pastel and more details to the hair. Now it's time to add the distinctive rust colour to Sally's hair. So I'm going to select a rust colour soft pastel and start adding the colour. Oops, unfortunately my camera switched off without me realising it so I carried on drawing without filming. So I'm going to talk through quickly all of the areas I've drawn through. Um, the stitching was with the black pastel pencil and the Prussian blue pastel pencil. You will see these when the, the paper comes off. And I drew the dress areas with the yellow ochre pastel and the violet pastel on the bottom layer and then the dark purple swirls um, were drawn on with those. Um, and then on the right hand side there's a layer of yellow with black detailing on top with the pastel pencil. I'm now sketching around areas of the eye with the pastel pencil so I will be using Prussian blue and black to detail areas around the eye and obviously then when I get to the pupil I will be using black.
Now I'm going to add detail to the lips. The first thing that I'm going to do is get the black pastel pencil and add the dark areas around the lips and then I will add the red area with the red pastel pencil and then I will add pink and white highlights. Now I will start to add the stitches lines around the mouth for the extended smile. <clears throat> Now I'm going to make some alterations. The first thing is I'm going to just check Sally's hair. So I'm going to just add some more of the rust color. Well, here is our finished image of Sally. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you want to find out more information about the products that we used in this tutorial, please check out the links in the description below. Also, make sure you check out the other tutorials on the Tim Burton Halloween theme in the playlist and the other tutorials on the Spectrum Art Academy YouTube channel. If you really enjoyed working on any of the tutorials in the Tim Burton or any of the other tutorials on the Spectrum Art Academy YouTube channel, please make sure that you tag them to at Spectrum Art Academy where they will be displayed and shared with other people to see.